our country uh, more than any other country in the world, and I know this because I've been to a lot of other countries and studied them, and I know the people who make uh, public officials in those countries who make decisions, and I know the advocates in their countries. And this country, more than any other country in the world, promotes independence. It promotes self-responsibility. I mean, it's the old Western ethic. We're in Texas. Pull your boots up by yourself. You know, that, that's, that doesn't work necessarily for people with disabilities because I can't pull my darn boots up. But I can do it virtually. I can make decisions that affect my life. I can engage in independent living if I'm given the natural supports that are required in order to do that. Um, and this country is, you know, example after example of helping to encourage people to help themselves. And if there's no better example of that in our history, at least not in our recent history, of people working to help themselves than the movement of people with disabilities to pass the Americans with Disabilities Act, to create centers for independent living that are run by people with disabilities for people with disabilities, to work with public authorities to make sure transportation is accessible to all. And, and uh, you know, this is just a wonderful example of America doing the right thing. That's why I think we need to record uh, the history of the last 40 years of disability empowerment, disability rights, disability politics, so that people can learn from that, can, can celebrate it. It's all about um, learning and celebrating. And I, you know, there will be a point in time in history when uh, another movement will need the lessons we have to teach. So let's teach them. <laughs>